Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada and welcome to my Paper Craft With Me YouTube channel. Today I have a quick 30 second solution uh, information video for you and it relates to this which is a treat box. Now this one I made for my blog a while ago and basically it's a reinforced drawer with a nice surround and I stamped on this one I've got some other designs as well that I'm going to be showing you in the coming weeks but I wanted to show you just how to put this together because it actually confused me the first time I saw it it doesn't come with instructions and I got very confused so you have it comes in two parts you have this piece which is basically the sleeve it is already adhered so all you have to do is open it up, move it around, and that gives you your sleeve. Now the other part is the drawer, and it is a bit complicated. And the reason for that is because it actually has a double thick sides and a reinforced bottom section. So it kind of makes it a bit odd to put together. So the way I have decided to show you is, First of all, we're going to fold along all the score lines. The box comes completely scored, and at the end there, I'm going to fold it back on itself. Can you see that? Exactly the same on this side. I'm going to fold it in. I'm going to fold it in again. And then this last little tab, I'm going to fold back on itself and just sharpen that crease. So that's the sides done. Then I have this tab, this tab, this little square tab there, and that one. They're easy, they're just one line on them, not a problem. Now let's do this piece, so I'm going to fold that one in, which is how it comes. Then the next one I'm going to fold in. And just like on here, we folded the last section back on itself. I'm going to do the same here. And it looks very odd, but believe me, that is useful. So again, you've got this sort of effect. And then with the other side, you fold that one in. You fold that one in. And once again, this last tab, fold it backwards on itself like that. So can you see we've got these tabs and these four they have like this little lip and then once you've done that the rest is easy so you lift these sides up and you're going to just fold that over and tuck it down and you can see where that lip sits on the bottom of the box now and we're going to do the same with the other side tuck it in like that then this smaller piece goes in I don't know if you can see there's a little hole there so that goes in and then this section goes in and this tab just locks into that little hole and that's it no adhesive necessary it's really strong double thick on the bottom double thick at the sides and just slides into the drawer like that so I hope that's been useful. As I say, when I first made it, I really did get confused with this last piece. I couldn't work out how it was supposed to fit. But by folding back each of these sections, it actually solved the problem for me. And now every time I make one of these boxes, I can do it really quickly without having to worry just by turning back those tabs. So I hope that's been useful. If you'd like to order these boxes, they come in packs of 10. I will put a link below in the description and also I will show you my latest design, a different one to this, um, over on my blog today and you'll find that at www.papercraftwithme.com and you'll also find lots of other information and daily blog with all sorts of paper crafting projects. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you'll join me again soon. Bye.